Bit of level, Daniel. Tell us what you had for breakfast today. Uh, what did I have for breakfast today? Was uh, I, I try to always have some eggs. Uh, I had uh, you no. Know, in the hotel, we have avocado tartine, with, which is bread with uh, smashed avocado and uh, two poached eggs. Nice. What cool. else? I had some cereals, uh, some that's fruits. That's good. We're all good for that's that. Great. Oh, that's, that's great. That's You can keep talking about your breakfast <laughs> yeah, if you yeah. want. It's great. <laughs> no, ah, it was. <laughs> it was just for the sound check. I didn't know fine. it was for the sound. <laughs> <laughs> I was serious about it. Um, what a match that was. Probably the toughest of the four wins that you've had, Danny. But that little guy drove you crazy today. What was going on? Yeah, I mean, uh, it was a really tough match and uh, in really tough conditions. I mean, I think I slept uh, five hours in the last two days uh, with the jet lag coming from Paris. So I was feeling like, uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm happy with the win. Tick tie break. Can you believe Almost that? The net court to finish Almost it. Choked. Almost choked. You heard him say, well, he did. He <laughs> did almost choke. What's he say, Jerry? Please default me. Yeah, I don't want to be here. <laughs> I think. Rupert enjoying it courtside. Yeah, he's not looking happy, Medvedev. And I don't want to play here on this circuit. Well, pretty clear what he's thinking. I don't want to play here on this surface. Because we're 214 on the court and you are saying me you didn't know. That's stupid. That's stupid. That's stupid. That's stupid. That's stupid. On clay, it's minor tweaks rather than you know major adjustments that need to be made. We saw him finish it with a, an ace. See what he's writing on the, the camera here. It might be something about clay by the looks of it. Uh, he loves the clay, of course he does. It's all happening. Can you imagine? Because I had the ball to hit. You didn't have any ball to hit. Can you imagine how stupid this call is? You cannot this is going to be on tennis TV, bro. <laughs> 14. Where's the rap at? Yeah, of course. First of all, well, it was funny from all the parts. So first of all, that's a good thing. It was it was fun. It was not. I mean, if it would be a break point, it would be less fun. <laughs> I'm telling you. But uh, for me, the thing is that either they should change the name of the rule because hindrance. I looked it on Google Translate because I was not sure what it means. I thought it meant disturbance, like to disturb yes. somebody. I was right. You can ask Bublik if I disturbed him by saying sorry. He will say no. I had the smash, which I would never miss in my life. I actually put it away. Even if he jumped uh, like Manuel Neuer, he couldn't get the ball. So again, there was no hindrance. There was no disturbance. Again, dead man. Well, it's been a Medvedev masterclass again this week. 
It's the second consecutive Masters 1000 title for the Russian. And after winning in Cincinnati a few months ago, he is now one here in Shanghai without dropping a set. He looks simply unbeatable at the moment. It's now nine straight wins on tour, 18 consecutive sets. And he beat Sasha Zverev for the very first time as well. You know, I said it uh, kind of during US Open or after Cincinnati, I decided that it's going to be my thing because everybody is talking that they need new guys, uh, something new. So I, I gave them something new. I don't celebrate my wins. I just stay calm. I do my job and bam, done. We spoke to Nick a, a little bit earlier. He was very complimentary about you and saying what a great future you, you've, you've got. He also Thanks. described you <laughs> as having an unorthodox an, an uh, technique as well. Um, but yeah, to... I, I know, I know. When I, basically, when I play, I don't think about it because, uh, well, I'm just trying to put the ball in the, in the court. And then when I see myself on videos or photos, I'm like, what am I doing, you know? <laughs> how, <laughs> what am I doing? But uh, that's how I play. And uh, hopefully some people enjoy it because uh, maybe we can say that uh, some people uh, maybe we can say yeah that it's more amateur technique i'm not sure so maybe some more people can enjoy it i don't know <laughs> Anil, this is Pranav. he's won 10 titles already 10 titles. 10 titles already so doing pretty well more than yeah there we go yeah i mean first of all i don't think to beat me on clay is a giant uh headline i mean i don't see it but uh yeah i'm happy with the win Daniel, I have to ask, uh, an amazing singles match, uh, almost three hours, very hot, tough conditions. Uh, how are you feeling? A great effort to come back out. And, and guys, how does it feel to, to win the tie for Team Russia? I'm feeling very bad physically. That's uh, all I can say. But uh, I'm going to let, uh, let the word uh, to the hero of the day, Roman, because what he did today was unbelievable. So, so it's going to be him talking, probably. Usually, you know, when you win a, a title and you come in the locker room the next tournament, everybody's congratulating and it's the same with, with this one, you know, nobody's going to uh, jump into your knees and saying how much he admires you. But uh, as I say, in general, I feel like tennis is a very friendly sport, of course, outside the court, because on court it's different. Um, and uh, yeah, we're all uh, for peace. And that's what I felt today, uh, reaching the number one. I think it's too early to talk about new era, but from my side, I'm just uh, really happy to to reach some of the goals. Uh, no matter how, no matter if it happens when you win your first Grand Slam, when you win your tenth Grand Slam, or when uh, Novak loses in Dubai, it's just uh, you know great uh, feeling for me and my team. Uh, it's always special to play against him. Kind of a chance to to get my revenge, uh, and yeah, I just. Uh, have to learn from the best, uh, which is uh, him, Roger, Novak, Andy. And they were always, uh, when uh, they were losing a tough uh, fight, they were trying to get their revenge. Sometimes uh, they managed to do it, sometimes not. And that's what I'm going to try to do if I play Rafa. It's, it's tough to answer because I think it's tricky because in one way it's for sure confidence. You're number one in the world. Uh, I mean, it's uh, one of the dreams come true and you only want to, yeah, to try to continue keep it as long as possible, gain as many points as possible, uh, you know, yeah, just try to play better and show everybody that you deserve it. At the same time, it's a lot of pressure because as soon as you lose, everybody going to say, haha, world number one, lost, uh, blah, 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 a lot of talks like uh, we, we always have. So... It's tricky in both ways, but to be honest, when I come on the court, for me, what matters is to try to win. Um, some players going to want to beat you more because you are number one. Some players going to be a bit more scared and you never know how it's going, what type uh, of, uh, of uh, the player is against you today. Or some of them just going to don't care like I do and just try to win the match. So for me, the most important when I go on the court is to win the match. And I'm happy that today I managed to do it. Hopefully, uh, see you next year. Hopefully, one day I can uh, touch this uh, big trophy which Huber will take right now. <laughs> Rublev makes me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> everything he says, everything he talks about, uh, every time I see him doing interviews, every time I see him on stage, every time, uh, maybe less on the tennis court because he's really serious. He just goes uh, for winners and stuff like this, but uh, he can make me laugh a lot.
Oh, it's all over at the seventh time of asking. Medvedev, the maestro, finally is the champion in Vienna. What a final. What a performance from Shapovalov. Medvedev's toughest test of the week, no doubt. I'm going to dedicate it to my wife because... Uh, because uh, she gave me the, the most uh, beautiful present, if I can say like this ever, uh, my daughter. And I was there and this, uh, this emotions is uh, much more than winning any title. So, uh, Dasha, thank you very much. I don't know what to say, I'm sorry. Thank you, guys.